y'all know the number one reason that there's always some drama on a girl's trip is because hey babes welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i am jay or jaye whichever one you prefer doesn't matter so in today's video i am going to be talking to you guys i'm going to be giving you guys a chit chat and the discussion is going to be girls trips like what goes on on these girls trips what happened what goes wrong what's in the air okay we're going to spill the tea and we're going to get to it and we're going to talk about what goes wrong okay so get your snacks or whatever get your get your drink and we're going to have a good time here okay so let's get into the video so disclaimer y'all this has nothing to do with my girls trip that i recently took with my girls all right we had a good time all right this has nothing to do because y'all know y'all like to jump to conclusion and stuff me and my girls had a good time when if you looked at my story if you follow me on instagram and you see my recent um my last trip that i took i went to cancun again not my, for my birthday i did not October. i went to cancun again but this time it was a girl's trip and we had an awesome time there was some like slight inconvenience but that's not because of us that was because of the restrictions that they had there for that week so th this has nothing to do with my girls trip because i know people love drama and they love to jump to conclusion we had a good time there was no argument no beef no um animosity like me and my girls we don't do that we have understand we don't do none of that drama stuff i'm just talking about girls trip in general because the topic has been on my mind lately especially summertime now like i'm seeing a lot of girls trips and i'm seeing a lot of like stuff on the internet i'm just like what be going wrong and i've had those in my life like i had the something going wrong girls trips so that's what i'm going to be talking about today it has nothing to do with me and my recent girls trips and me and my friends all right don't get it twisted all right so i don't have my pencil today so i'm gonna start off doing my brows with my nyx pomade i'm gonna take it back real quick i'm gonna do some old school nyx pomade so that's what i'm using for my brows so i ran i ran that pencil to the uh, i don't want to say hip pan because hip pan is for eyeshadow um i ran that pencil down though y'all that pencil is done all right so i'm using my pomade So, like I said, guys, the topic of girls trips have been on my mind lately because y'all know it's summertime, you know, East Coast. I don't know. It's probably hot all the time other places, but it's still summer. What am I talking about? But anyway, it's summertime. And not only that, like restrictions are getting lifted everywhere. So it's like everybody's taking trips or whatever. Literally everybody's taking trips, y'all. So for my recent trip to Cancun I had to that line is so harsh up there and this pomade is dry and I can't get it out because I don't even use this pomade it's so dry so I had took a trip to Cancun recently like I said and I needed a new suitcase because the airport violated my suitcase all right I don't know if they was throwing it I don't know if they was playing catch with my suitcase but that's what it seemed like when I got my suitcase back so it had dents in it and the zipper is broken because yeah I'm always overweight also gets always overweight it never fails like I'm prepared for the overweight charge because when I pack I pack like I'm moving somewhere and I need everything so yeah I'm messing up my brows completely but y'all know I got this I'm gonna fix it but um yes like I know everybody's taking trips because y'all yeah, I went to several stores all over New York City well Manhattan at least and I couldn't find a suitcase for nothing like I could not find a suitcase and I was like what is going on like everybody must really be traveling like I've seen it on my social medias and stuff but everybody must really be getting flute out for the weekend like it's not even a song no more it's true like everybody is outside all right I, I respect it though as we should be everybody should be enjoying themselves everybody should be on a vacation and all that good stuff so I'm searching all over New York City for a um yeah I'm doing my makeup it's not a tutorial so y'all gonna see me looking down a lot so I'm searching all over where's my concealer that's what I'm searching for here you go so I'm gonna shape my brows now with my born this way concealer so I am searching all over New York City y'all for a suitcase and I'm like yo the people's is outside the people's is on trips I couldn't find a suitcase anywhere I had to go to one of those um y'all know those like i love new york 
like stores for like the tourists you know they sell like suitcases all of new york shirts and globes and stuff i had to go to one of those and get a little cheap suitcase because that's the last thing i could find because everybody's taking trips and the thing is i don't think everybody's ready or maybe that's just how girls trips go i don't know what it is like all right now i'm gonna shape these harsh brows that i had to draw with my palm and that's why i love my pencil maybe they're not harsh and i'm just really into my pencil now but let me put some chapstick on this is cold cold cream from from avene and i always thought it was like cold sore cream but it's called cold cream i hope it's not cold sore cream we don't get those yeah, I, I don't get those, so don't have to worry about that. So, yes, everybody is on vacation. I'm seeing the TikToks, I'm seeing the Instagram feeds and all of that stuff. And it's cool, but why? I just, it just, I don't know, the thought just came to my mind. Like, why is it that it just seems like it's always a problem? And I don't know, is it with girls? Like, do guys go through this too? Like, I, that's what I wanted too. Like, is it just girl trips or do guys go through this too? Maybe guys are more chill and they just like whatever. So, they, I don't know. Maybe they don't care as much as we do. But, or something always seems to go wrong on girls trips. And y'all, I, um... So when I get bored, I like to watch st story times, and I love the tea story times. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I am not a drama person. However, we all have those things that we go and we just grab our popcorn for, and we be like, oh yeah, like let me sit down and watch this. This is gonna be good. Let me grab my snacks and all right. So don't even front. Like a lot of y'all are into like reality shows and stuff. I'm not. But that's your tea, you know. We all I like. I don't like when people try to just act like, oh no, I'm not into none of that stuff. Oh no. I like story times. I like to hear like what's going on. So that is my tea time. Um, watching story times. And lately the topic that I've been watching is girl trips. And it just seems like every girl's trip is just horrible. Like what is in the air when you go on girl trips? What is happening? I need y'all to comment down below if y'all had a bad experience. I have had experience in the past. And this is honestly why I just feel like vacations is where it's at. Well, I had one. I, I mean, I recently took a girl's trip. But it wasn't really a girl's trip because we, some of us had, you know, our partners with us. But it was still a girl's trip. And we had a good time. We had fun. But that's why I just feel like you need to find the group of girls that you can have an understanding with. You know? Like, y'all all have an understanding. And I know it's weird because uh, sometimes, like, these trips that girls go on and be like your best friend so i can't even say like oh you need to understand it with this person because sometimes they're really your best friend and then you go on the trip and then just something goes completely wrong like it's just very weird i always say like if you want to test your friendships if you want to really test your friendships go to miami i don't know what's in the miami air yeah i don't know what's in miami's air all right some i don't know some juju some bad jujus in the air in miami but if you ever want to test your I, I bet you like a hundred people watching this video right now or whoever however many watching this video 30 people watching this video 10 people there's a group of people right now that are sitting there like yes like oh my god she's telling the truth because it's just something in that air that things go wrong like i was watching this girl's stuff and she was talking about how she fought her friend her best friend of like 12 15 years did she say 12 or 15 she could have said 12 but one, one of them one, it was a high amount of years anyway i feel like that's absolutely ridiculous like what happened like where well i've, I've heard the story and she was just basically saying how like you know her friend was switching up with the other girls that she was with but it's just like why like what happens like y'all all left together y'all all planned this together like what went wrong like you know these people what is going wrong this concealer is very light but we're gonna make it work i don't do a lot of chit chat get ready with me guys because it's hard for me to focus um i need to be very quiet when i'm doing my makeup or i at least need to be like not talking the whole thing but i do this for y'all so it's fine 
I just put a ton of concealer around my brows, but I'm gonna fix that with my foundation. All right, let me remove these. And rub this in. To moisturize, I'm gonna put on my Huda Beauty water jelly. But yeah, I know it's difficult. Like, it'd be your best friend or somebody that you never thought would, you know, do something like out of the, I don't know, out of the blue to you or it's just weird we have very weird vibes um honestly if y'all want my opinion i feel like vacations are way better than girls trips i have had a lot of them okay usually when y'all see me vlogging and y'all don't see nobody with me somebody's with me <laughs> all right i just don't well obviously i think y'all know that but i don't plan on doing the whole um reveal you know reveal your partner to YouTube or Instagram or however, I like to be very private. I was never the post me type, like even as a teenager. I never did the post me thing, never did the, I don't even let people know that I'm in a relationship. Like you're going to have to guess if I am or not. I don't reveal those statuses or those people. So yeah, anytime you see me y'all, I'm on a vacation and they go very smoothly. I don't know, maybe it's because I just feel like when you're with your partner, they do whatever you want to do maybe that's what it is like if you say I want to go here at this time then they're gonna go with you I want to go see this at this time but we got to be here at that time they're gonna do it and it's fine I need a good flick they're gonna do it and it's fine because y'all know for some reason when some friends take your flicks it just be looking so dry like not my friend one of my friends this outfit wow y'all can't see but this outfit that I'm actually wearing she took my first picture that I was like I never took my pictures like this before and she took it on a certain mode and I was like I'm never not using this mode again like like I had a I had I had gave her my phone I had it set to a certain mode I had gave her my phone and I had set it to an app that I like to like filter that it had on it and she was like no 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 what is this and she completely changed it up opened something else and that photo was bomb I'm gonna matter of fact I'm gonna insert the photo right here she took a picture for me and this photo is bomb so I can't believe she recently took pictures for me can't cool so the whole friend not taking good pictures can't believe my friend be getting my flicks good but <laughs> I could relate before I could relate before it's just I don't know vacations go way smoother like everything is much smoother y'all might get into a little argument but when you're in a relationship getting into an argument is um wait is this that wrong is this the wrong calamine lotion? I don't know. Because I had this calamine lotion, y'all, from um, Cancun, Mexico. We're not even going to talk about that. But yes, vacations go way smoother. Um, I'm going to need y'all to comment down below if you agree. If you ever took a vacation or... If you ever took a vacation and a girl trip, I'm going to need you to comment down below which one is better. And, um, I know some people might feel like, oh, you know, but when you go on a vacation, you can't turn up. Um, who can't turn up? Because <laughs> I'm turning up. So, who can I turn up? That's what I want to know. Because anytime I go on vacation, my brother knows, like, I turn up. And I'm just such a, I don't want to say friendly, but, like, I am an introvert, kind of. Like, I, always, I need my space after a while. Ooh, that's another thing I'm going to get to. I'm going to get to that in a second. But, hold on. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I do have my internal ways, but at the same time, I know how to, how do I word this? I know how to network, but I just know how to be a human, basically. I don't even have to figure out the word. Like, I'm a human being, so when I go out, it's always girls like, oh my god, you're so pretty, like, come drink with us, and da 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 Like, I'm careful, don't get me wrong, I'm not ditzy. I just know, like, I'm, I'm with my partner. It's nothing crazy, but they're like, oh, here, take a shot, and we just be dancing together, and you would really think that these are my friends, the way I be, like, we just be Snapchatting each other, hey, that's me when I go out, so getting lit is, was never a problem for me, but, you know, that's just my aura, like, that's what I should have said in the first place, that is just my aura, okay, people, I just, like, walk in, and people love me, I know you're probably gonna be like, ew, that, 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 she thinks, she no, I, it's, it's real talk, like, my aura, people just, I don't know, they can feel my positive vibes, and they love me when I step in a room, and I, I'm cool with them my back, I'm not stuck up, I'm not gonna be like, ew, no, I don't know you, um, I'm not gonna be like, ew, no, I don't know you girls, or whatever, but, yes, I, that's what I do, 
I walk in. At first, I'm with my partner. We be lit in the club. I'll be turned up. I'll dance. And that's nothing. I am the party. Listen, you in NYC, you want to get lit. I'm talking about lit like with no drama and none of that. None of that. So you just want to get lit and have fun? Call me. I'm popping out. All right? <laughs> Yes, that is me. So I don't have a problem turning up on vacation with just my boyfriend. And the only time I want to turn up anyway is when I'm partying. Other than that, I'd be wanting to have like a good relaxing time on vacation. Unless I'm doing like, you know, zip on and stuff like that. But with your with your partner, it's still fun. So all you need your friends for is really turning up and stuff. And like I said, I can do that with anybody. Like I'm, I'm a loving person. I can do that with anybody. So... That's that. Now, let me get to the space. The What I meant about I need my own space a lot of times. Not only that, I don't really, um, I don't really, um, like, friend people up easily. And I know that's contradicting what I just said because I just said I could turn up. That's different. Like, I'm in the club. I can have fun with people. Oh, this is my color corrector. I'm in the club. I can have fun with people that night. But as far as, like, just being too friendly, like, you know, people just too friendly and it's just weird. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Like, people are like, hey, come to my house. And you do them for, like, two days. And, like, I don't know. That's weird to me. I'm talking about just people in a club. I and mean, when you, some of y'all might be too young to understand, but when you're just in a club environment, like, everybody's vibing together. Like, it's a vibey type of vibe, if that makes sense. Okay. This is really a challenge for me. This is a chit get ready me, a.k.a. challenge. Because, I look how much color correct I use. But it's fine. I'm still going to do my thing. Because I really don't um talk and do my makeup at the same time. But, yes, let's talk about space, y'all. I think, I personally think that one of the main reasons why a lot of you girls go on trips and y'all argue or y'all fuss is because it be like look at the diff it's alright we gonna make this work I feel like one of the main reasons why y'all go out on these trips right and y'all start arguing and bickering and going back and forth and da 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 this that, and the third is because it be like ten of y'all in a room with two beds. All right, it's too many y'all in a yes, I know the tea. Yeah, I know. It be too many y'all in this this little bed and it's not working. It y'all be having the ordering um y'all be booking the smallest room, okay? And it'll have like two twin size beds in it. And y'all whole idea, because you just want to be on vacation, y'all whole thing is, oh, but who's going to be in the room anyway? Like, nobody really going to be in the room. Yada, yada, yada. You cannot do that, all right? Don't be cheap with yourself, because at the end of the day, y'all see what happens. Y'all end up arguing, y'all end up fighting, and it ends up being bad when you could have just got your own space in your own room. Now, here's the reason why I feel like a lot of people go on these girls trips and they argue with their friends that they have for a long time or like they're even their cousin sister these story times i'll be watching be so crazy i feel like that because i feel like everyone has a little bit of an introvert inside of them all right so i'm moving on to my foundation and you already know i'm using my becca ultimate foundation so what i mean by everybody has a little bit of an introvert in them i mean like i honestly feel like Everybody, even if you don't feel like it, everybody needs their own space at some point. And y'all being in this room is not it's not helping. And I know y'all probably feel like, oh, but you know, this is my girl. Like I feel like that's what the people feel like this is my girl, this is my sister. We like what this is my friend. Like we wouldn't have a problem being in, you know, the same room or sleeping in the same bed for however long however long you guys stay out there. This is my urban decay quick fix for my brush. However long you guys are staying out there, like, we're not going to have a problem with, you know, sleeping in the same bed and whatever. And But trust me when I say that, when you go on vacation, all right, it is completely different. Like, it's different from this is your friend and y'all been spending a night at each other's house for years and y'all been in each other's face for years. It's just something about being in a hotel room and for being in a small space, okay, it's not like you get your own space. Like, if you go to your friend's house every day, 
at least you go home you know what I'm saying like you guys have that time away from each other for some reason when you on vacation it's way different like you're in this small box room okay you're in this boxy room and y'all in each other's face 24 7 it's not the same as going to your friend's house every day because y'all have time away you're waking up to your friend you going to sleep with your friend you doing everything with your friend things are just gonna get heated literally and then y'all go to these hot places like it's not already aggravating it is aggravating so another thing i feel like could fix girls trips is down and down south the amount of people that's in the room i'm not trying to say everybody needs their own room but i do feel like you guys should downsize it like i know the drill i know it'd be like a bunch of people in one little room and i feel like that needs to stop if you guys have a group of eight it shouldn't be like eight people in one room um i don't know break it down to two or three maybe i feel like even four people in a room is it gets hot y'all it gets aggravated it gets heated um i'm telling y'all like I, I i've been through it before and all right y'all so my tan i had a tan and i had to get this darker foundation and now my tan is going away and now like at first it was my chest was darker than my face and now my face is darker than my chest this look we gonna see how this look turned out because ooh but yes if you guys downsize the rooms i feel like that'll work so much better because everybody's not in each other's face 24 7 like that for some reason that aggravates people people start to catch an attitude and i feel like that's what it is the most people catch these attitudes after being in a room with somebody for such a long time so downsizing the room is something that i think will work really good um another reason i feel like people argue on girls trips is because not everybody agrees to everything at the same time so you remember how i was saying like on vacations i feel like it's easier because you get up and your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever yeah like y'all agree to things and if you're a girl and you have a boyfriend y'all already know that whatever we say goes like if we say we want to go to the aquarium then we're gonna go to the aquarium it's not gonna be a back and forth thing of oh would, like boys just sit there and be like okay what do you want to do today like what are we doing today? We gonna just keep what are we doing? Like that's that's boys. So <laughs> whatever we say goes. So it doesn't even matter. But um, one of the reasons I think girls trips go bad is because not everybody agrees on what they want to do. Like everybody wants to do something different. Like oh yeah, I wanna go out to eat there. I don't wanna go out to eat there. I wanna go out to eat here. I wanna do this. I wanna do that. I wanna go. No, why we should go there later? Go to tomorrow. And that starts a big argument between y'all but like like i said me and my girls we had agreed on what we was doing on what day we was doing it before we got out there like that's something that y'all need to do like y'all need to take tips from us <laughs> yeah that was something that we agreed on we said we doing this this and that before we got out there it was never a a moment where it was like oh, okay what are we gonna do now like no because we already had everything that we had planned on each day before we touched down okay that was the plan what is that? You done messed up my face. What is that? Oh, okay, I know what that is. Yeah, the um under eye things we don't mean dirty sometimes. So that's another thing I feel like messing up these girl ships. Y'all need to have an agreement. If y'all really friends, there's gonna be nothing that you guys can't talk out. You guys need to have an agreement on what you're gonna do before you get down there, okay? And that way, there will be no confusion of, oh, we want to do this today, or we going to go eat here, and y'all could go there, I don't feel like going out, and blah, 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 blah. No. Mm -mm. It's not going to be none of that if you handle that before, ahead of time. Now, I'm going to move on to highlighting. Let me actually just pat my face really quickly with my beauty blender. I like to just soak up the extra oils and stuff. All right, so I was trying to avoid this topic, but I see that I can't. Like, it's a part of the whole girls trip thing, and I'm going to have to talk about it. Let's talk about the main reason things go wrong on girl trips, y'all. Let's really, let's bring it up. Let's bring up the elephant in the room. Let's talk about it. Let's, hold on, let me get a drum roll going. If I could get a... Let's get a drum roll going. Let's talk about the real reason. Y'all know, uh, some of y'all might know what I'm about to say, all right? Let's talk about the real reason. I know y'all like, say it already. Y'all, y'all know the number one reason 
why it's always some drama on a girl's trip is because the number one reason <laughs> I know y'all like girl you get on my nerves the number one reason y'all know the number one reason that there's always some drama on a girl's trip is because somebody gotta be broke somebody a couple people always like somebody on that trip is broke all right and it's so aggravating and it's inconvenient for other people and then for some reason i don't i don't understand why it's half of these people be mad and they as you it's always a broke one that starts a fight or is mad at somebody because they felt like somebody was gonna pay for them or it's always just something but had 99.9% .9 of the time that girls trips have what they have the drama that they have it's because somebody has to be broke and I just don't understand why you ain't keep your boot why you ain't keep your butt home because it, it, you but now you're gonna sit here and inconvenience everybody else and they feel like somebody has to pay for them and it is just so inconvenient and and if you if you broke if you know you don't have it all right and you very humble about the situation then that's fine okay i've been in situations where somebody didn't have it but they weren't being like you know things pop up like things happen it's not like they they knew or you know something just happened so that's different i'm talking about willingly knowing that you're broke you came on a vacation you thought somebody was gonna pay for you for stuff you know you didn't have enough money now you got an attitude because you thought somebody was gonna pay for you no it don't life don't work like that like no um yeah that's the number one reason and you it's so selfish of them to do that like i know it sounds like oh i'm gonna hold my friend down but a lot of us with good hearts we need to stop thinking that we need to stop doing that because what happens is now these people go out somewhere with you and they feel like you're gonna pay and it's it's not cool at all all right a lot of the reasons why a lot of these girl ships have they downfall is because just be broke like why are you coming outside i think i don't want to sound me y'all but i just feel like it's very inconvenient like let's say everybody wants to do something now they can't do it because they don't want to leave you behind or you just can't do it but now you have an attitude because you feel like nobody else should do it because you came outside broke no that's not their problem like oh my god yeah i was watching this one girl's um story time and she was saying how she done spent like four hundred dollars on the girl the girl acting like she got money the whole time on their vacation she done spent oh y'all know what i'm y'all know what i'm doing i'm setting my highlighter she done spent like four hundred dollars on this vacation y'all and the girl caught her attitude because you know she done paid for her like three four times and then when she finally asked her like okay i guess this is the thing like you want she asked her like they have went out to eat and she asked her like do you want me to pay for you and the girl got an attitude how you got an attitude when literally she's been paying for you this whole time okay she's been paying for you this whole time and then she asked you like you know because obviously you don't my thing is how you put your attitude and you don't have it anyway so if she would have if you caught an attitude and was like oh you trying to play me what if she would have said all right now i'm not gonna pay it what you would have did at that table like why are you catching the attitude and you wrong that don't make no damn sense but anyway yeah she caught an attitude with the girl and everything i guess because she didn't have no money and it's very inconvenient and the girl wanted to do stuff and because she didn't have no money they couldn't do anything they were with other girls but the other girls were like agreeing with her like oh it's okay um don't be mad she was trying to act like she was mad at something else which is the, the one, number one thing that broke people doing their own vacation they try to act like something else is upsetting them oh my god no i'm just mad because dante cheated on me or dante just dante didn't do nothing dante need to put some money in your pocket because you upset because you broke you're not upset because nothing else but you don't want to say that but yeah in the story time she was basically saying how she wanted you know it was a last night wherever they was and she wanted to go out and you know have fun on the last night and she was like nah i don't want to go nowhere i don't want to do this i don't want to do that they woke up okay no wait let me backtrack 
so the night the night before the last they woke up um they the day before the last they woke up she they wanted to go out to eat and they, she was like no can we just go like to a drive through or whatever um they was like all right and then she did it again and then the night they was gonna go out they didn't go out like that is so selfish so a lot of these people couldn't do anything so you cause people inconvenience of having fun and you started with people because you mad because you broke that is so messed up like honestly if you don't have it please do not force yourself to come outside and just expect your home girl or whatever to hold you down like where is my contouring brush so I'm using my Fenty bronzer powder to go ahead and contour. Like that is so wrong. And I done I see that that's the number one rule. Like all them story times that I was watching out, or literally all of the story times, it was because of son. Let me try to stop cursing. <laughs> it was because someone did not have it. And like literally, I'm watching, I'm like, okay, well, this is a pattern, like this is a pattern and I thought it was only me but I see that like every friend group goes through that one friend that just feels like oh you gonna hold me down no I'm not where your bread at I'm not doing that and I just can't deal with the people that know like you knew you was gonna be broke and you still decided to come and and you didn't even my thing is keep it real you understand because honestly if somebody if I really want somebody to go somewhere um, I've been in situations where I was bored and I wanted one of my friends to pop out and um, they didn't have it and I offered to pay. You know what I'm saying? Because I, my thing is if I drag you out somewhere and you tell me you don't have it, then that's my job. But that's my duty to go ahead and pay for you because you are you told me you were 100% honest with me about not having it. I could have easily said, oh, all right, forget it then, don't come. But if I'm dragging, I'm like, no, please come on, come with me. Um, then that is my duty. I feel like you automatically supposed to pay for that person. So yeah, I've been in situations where that happened. People are honest. And I feel like, you know, that'll be fine if you were honest with your friend because why not hold your, like that's your mans. Why not hold your mans down? You understand what I'm saying? But it's situations where, let me find this damn eyebrow. So I know I look crazy, but I'm just going to go ahead and let my face, um, bake before I dust everything and blend it all together with a brown powder. But yes, there have been situations, um, not with me, well with me, yes, but I'm not talking about me right now. There's, I'm talking about situations in general where people just are not going to tell people that they don't have it. They think they're going to come on a vacation and they mean it's going to hold them down. Everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be, you know, everything's going to be right. No, it don't work like that. Like, why don't you be honest with your friend from the jump? You know, I'm pretty sure, like... If you and your friend is solid, I'm pretty sure your friend would just be like, all right, girl, like, this is what I'm going to do for you, da, 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 da. Before the vacation, nobody wants to bring a certain amount of money on vacation, okay? And then the money that they have for themselves, now they got to find some way to accommodate you or, you know, hold you down because you didn't tell them. And that's like a surprise. Like, how would you like if you had a surprise bill? How would you like if... You have five bills a month and out of nowhere you get the sixth bill that you did not know about. <laughs> that probably happens to people. But anyway, it's not nice. That's not a good feeling to just have a surprise depth on your hand. It's not cool at all. And that's something that I just really, really dislike. Like if you knew from the jump that you didn't have it, you could have stayed. And I understand you probably really wanted to go, but you got to think about other people. You can't do that to other people. That is, that is so wrong. And I, I can't stand it with a passion because I had some past situations and it ended up very, very ugly. So that's why I'm bringing up this topic of girls trips. And not only that, I'm watching these YouTube stories and I'm just like, what? Like the things that people say, like what? You got the girls that, you got the girls that's broke. You got the girls that switch up in front of dudes and oh my god. That's the worst thing that I would cut a friend off in a second. I cannot deal with females that switch up in front of dudes, especially like strangers or something. Like, what is wrong with you? Why are you so hot right now? You need to relax. Don't act different. Especially if we away from home, like out the state, especially out the country. Don't act different. Like we need each other right now, or you gonna act up in front of these dudes that you don't know. Or you leaving and, and doing one night stands with these dudes that we don't know. You understand? Like, that could really 
If I was your friend, I'm barking on you because it's very dangerous. And and that's that's just a no no, especially out the country. But yeah, girls be switching up around dudes. Like it's just it's it's a lot. I really, really, um, I'm not gonna lie, I was hesitant to take my recent girl trip. I was like, oh, I just pray that, you know, everything goes fine, and it did. But that's from past trauma. It's not because I thought that anybody would, because we all, like, we all like this. Like, we have an understanding, uh, my current friends. So, I didn't think that anything would go wrong, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's anxiety. It's PTSD of, of the past. Like, oh my God, and you know, a girl's trip, every time... Uh, take a girl's trip like something goes wrong somebody got an attitude somebody with really their true color something is always up with the girls trips and I just didn't want that to happen and thank god it didn't so we got a lot more trips coming in the future but if you are young right if you like 18 19 20 and you about to take your first girls trip because I'll be seeing y'all pop out I don't know how or why I guess a lot of y'all got them got them F's, you know what I mean? Cause y'all be in the spots, like drinking. I be like, how? Wait, wait, all of y'all, how y'all even getting out there? Like, I'm not getting out there, but how are y'all getting into the spots? Like, how y'all doing this? Y'all some, Gen Z is different. <laughs> y'all not playing no games. Y'all like, we outside. I, I hear that, I understand that. But yes, if you are taking or thinking of taking your first girl trip with your girls like to Miami that's usually everybody's like first place Miami um Miami you know that's everybody going out Vegas you know usually your first place is like somewhere in the states like you don't take a passport trip until after Puerto Rico because a, a passport is not required if you think about taking a girl trip just think about what I said think about the room situation if you're going on a trip of like six, then think about putting three, three in a room. I promise you, I know what I'm talking about. It's going to be so much tension in a room of four or more people. It's it's a no-go. I'm telling you, if you think about doing that, split the number of people that you have in a room. It's a little bit more expensive, but is it worth, what's worth it? Losing a friendship or spending a little bit of extra coin? I'm going to set my face now with my um, Urban Decay D Slick. So I'm going to be moving on to my lashes and these lashes that I have here were sent to me by the Mink Lash Palace. So, so now I'm going to open it up for you guys. Firstly, I got to say that I love the packaging. It's so cute. It reminds me of my brand, Wink Wink, that I'm going to be dropping soon. But I love the pink. You guys know I love pink aesthetic. It is so pretty. Okay, so the lashes also came with some lash tools, a pretty business card, and a sticker. I'm going to open up for you guys and show you it. Oh, this is actually a magnet. This is so cute. Uh, thank you so much, the Mink Lash Palette. Let me just focus this for you guys. This is actually a magnet, guys. This is so cute and different. I've seen everybody do the sticker. I have not seen a magnet yet, so this is so cute. I think I'll go ahead and stick this to my mirror. So that is their logo and a magnet. That is, that is so cute. Also, I got some... Lash tools, which are much needed, okay, when you're applying your lashes. So I have some tweezers and also some spoolies, one that's in a case to go ahead and just whisk my lash out. And then their business card is so cute, guys. So here's their business card. It's like that credit card type of business card. This is so pretty. And lastly, we have the lashes themselves. Like I said, I love the gold and the pink theme. And these are the lashes that I'm going to be wearing with this look today. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes now. And before even applying them, y'all, one thing that I noticed already is that the band is nice and thick. So sometimes lashes usually have a very thin band and I can't even kind of like mold them the way that I want to. You guys know I like to wisp out my lashes. But this band is very secure, very sturdy. Not only that, but when I'm removing other people's lashes, not my lashes because you guys know I wear my lashes, but when I'm removing some other eyelashes and sometimes I put a little too hard on it and they will rip. The hairs will come out. So the good thing about these lashes from the Mink Lash Palace is that the band that the hairs are on are a nice size. Okay, it's very sturdy. So when I pull on them, I, all right, if I yank on them, 
it is not going nowhere. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply these. So these are the lashes guys. They're very cute and fluffy. Mink, just like I love them. I cannot go out with a mink lash. And they are winged out just like I like them. You guys know that I like my lashes to be winged at the corners. So if you are interested in the Mink Lash Palaces eyelashes, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave a link to their website down in the description box. Make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. I am now going to be moving on to my lips and my highlight and completing this look. And let me get back to what I was saying. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of pomade around my lips because I don't even have a lip pencil, y'all. I'm all oh, I've done my pencils down to the ground, okay? So, like I was saying, yes, if you guys can split a room, that'll make it so much easier, I'm telling you, because it's gonna, it'll be too much tension in that room. Also, if it's like your birthday or something, um, I advise you to, I advise you to let people know, like, what you're doing and what you want to do ahead of time before you get, before you guys get to your destination. That is going to save so much drama, okay? The group chat needs to be way more than just, oh, we lit, we out, we know, we lit, we outside, we going, blah, blah, blah. Discuss what you're going to do before you get down there, alright? Tell them this is what we're doing, this is where we're going, da, 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 da. Um, you shouldn't have to, but <laughs> another tip is to let them know maybe about how much money they need for this trip. Okay, let them know, hey, listen, this is what we're going to be doing, this is how much money we need, this is how much money I'm expecting everybody to have on them, like, let them know from the jump, because when you just tell people, hey, this is where we're going, this is the flight, and this is the hotel, this is how much we're chipping in, people just be feel like, oh, alright, like, no, let people know what it is ahead of time, okay? Lastly, I'm going to be highlighting with my good old trophy white highlighter. So, telling people what you want to do or what you're going to do ahead of time, I'm telling you, it'll save you so much drama and confusion, alright? Because when you don't say anything, people just feel like, oh, alright, I'm going and this is, that's it. Like, I'm going and we're going to figure everything out. And plus, you don't want to waste your days on your vacation, like, you know, figuring everything out when you get down there. When you get down there, you want to automatically start having fun. You don't want to waste time to be like, oh, what we doing? And y'all sitting in the hotel rooms in each other's face. Four hours trying to figure out what y'all doing. Like, nobody wants to do that. So, figure that out before y'all get down there. I'm telling you, it's going to save y'all a lot of drama. Or, take them vacations. If you have a bay, alright? If you have a good bay, take the vacations, y'all. I'm telling y'all. It's uh, it's so smooth. It's very relaxing. It's still fun. If you like me and I get lit, like, I'm not stinking bougie and standing in the corner. Um... <laughs> I get lit, you know, like it's still fun. I know you guys want that girls trip experience, but baby, if it ain't working, it ain't working. But if you haven't tried it yet, just try it. I might be wrong because I took a girls trip recently. Like I said, it, everything was good. But majority of the time, these trips go wrong. So make sure you guys got everything planned out ahead of time. Make sure you really know these people that you're going with. If, if you don't, I advise you guys to make a group chat with everybody like my friend i told her that she should make a group chat with everybody and i also told her that she should have a um an icebreaker dinner so if you guys don't know what an icebreaker is an icebreaker is when you know you introduce everybody everybody get comfortable around each other because when girls don't know each other it's like okay your cousin is going on the trip right and then your cousin's friend and like what if you get into something with your cousin's friend you know what i'm saying like that causes like tension so have an icebreaker where everybody introduces themselves before you get on vacation and if that's not possible like i said let's say if i'm going with my friend and i have a cousin that's going with her friend make it so that you and your friend are in one room and the cousin your cousin and their friend is in one room not the four in one room like you never know how that's gonna go all right y'all really playing a lottery with these friendships <laughs> and these trips like don't do that all right take all my advice i'm telling you i am experienced in this stuff take my advice do what i say <laughs> I'm over here sounding like your mom, but seriously, take my advice, y'all, okay? I'm telling y'all, and most of all, whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in, keep God or the universe first, okay? Put your trust in the universe or put your trust in God that everything is going to be planned and everything is going to go well. And most importantly, other than making sure that everybody has money and, you know, everybody is 
on board with what's going to be going on and da 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 make sure you guys stay safe all right is most important especially go going traveling with as a group of females to another country or even another state make sure you guys stay safe okay that is number one rule is to stay safe that's why i don't even like to argue and stuff because half the time like what if a whole group of friends um, are mad at this one friend and then a whole group of friends are mad at this one friend and they're arguing with this one friend and now this one friend feels like she wants to go out and have a walk by herself or be alone and we never know what's going to happen so I don't advise that like if it's something that you guys can talk out I advise you guys to talk it out okay don't ever let it escalate or get to the point where like somebody feels like they have to check into another room by themselves or go for a walk or do things by themselves that is very dangerous alright and if god forbid something happens you guys are gonna look at it like yo that argument was so petty and now i don't have my friend here anymore or we don't know where my friend is like she's missing so not let that get in the way of your friendship um sisterhood whatever you guys have okay safety is the number one thing so that is it for this chit chat get ready with me guys okay i am about to go and make some more content and from my other social media platforms and stuff like that i wasn't getting ready to go anywhere i'm just getting ready to go to <laughs> my other platforms so that is it for this video guys I, I really hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat get ready with me like i always say don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right i need you guys to subscribe and also go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time that I upload. Also, follow me on Instagram. Instagram is where I post everything. Instagram is where I'm active the most. That and my TikTok. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on both of those platforms. And if for some reason, I don't know why you wouldn't because that's where it's at right now. If for some reason you don't have those two platforms, I'm going to leave all my social media platforms right here on the screen make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on each one that you have and i will check you guys in my next video okay i love you guys so much thank you for watching bye